been a couple of weeks now into your preseason. Uh, you guys have an important game coming up against the Dynamo. Oh, what's the team uh, attitude in the locker room been like uh, these first few weeks? Uh, I think the attitude on the field has been really, really good, very positive. Uh, the guys are obviously optimistic. Anytime there's a brand new season, a new start, it's the first time for them to, uh, to showcase themselves. So right now, uh, the, uh, the intensity is quite high, so uh, we're very happy with that. Now, some of your returning players have, uh, have guided some of the newer faces. What, uh, what expectations do you, uh, do you have for those returning players? I mean, uh, ideally is for them to take a leadership role right away. Uh, it's important for us. Uh, I, I, I thought last year, um, maybe the last 10, 10 to 12 games, we were playing very well. And I'm hoping that we can uh, start the season that way. I think it's important for them to know the intensity in which uh, we have to come out and play. Um, every point matters. As you know, last year we were uh, five points away from the playoffs. And so we can't give away points, whether it's home on the road, especially easy points. So uh, I think it's realizing that every moment matters and, and not to take anything for granted. What are your impressions of Kyle and what can he bring to the team? I mean, right now, Kyle had a very good collegiate season. He's a physically very imposing young man. I think um, that's uh, his biggest attribute is obviously his pace, his power, uh, and his scoring ability. So we're hoping that uh, he can translate that into the pros. Obviously, anytime you move up levels, it's a different challenge. So for him, it's going to be uh, he's going to be with guys that are a little bit stronger, a little bit more athletic, uh, wiser than he has been uh, in college. So. In college, he's playing against uh, players his own age and sometimes even younger. Um, now, the, just the makeup of our team, uh, he'll be playing against seasoned veterans, so it's going to be uh, quite a challenge, but uh, we're hoping that he's, he's up for it. And what do, you, uh, do you have any goals that you want to get done against the Dynamo or that you're, things you're looking for against the Dynamo on Saturday? It's, it's quite difficult to say, uh, particularly because uh, we're still trying to figure out there might be some guys that are coming down to play with us and stuff, so we're going to figure that out uh, between today and tomorrow. Uh, I think it's just important to play well, to showcase ourselves. Uh, uh, I think the last two days we've been working on our defensive organization, so I'm hoping to build some of that uh, and work on that, you know, where we're not going to be conceding easy goals, just to see how our shape is. Um, obviously, the longer we spend time with each other, uh, the more cohesiveness the team is going to be. And I mean, it's, it's been 10 days, so it, it's going to be a little tough. I thought um, we show a little bit of that against HBU, but th that's a college team, which is not going to be anywhere near um, at the same level as, as what we're going to face on Saturday. But I think um, through that challenge, there's going to be a lot of questions that will get answered, and uh, more questions will come about uh, after that game. Coach, last one for me. The MLS announced the CBA today, and you as a former player, how, how important do you think the CBA uh, agreement is uh, moving forward? Well, at any time, you know, I mean, it, it's tough. I mean, obviously the change, the, the league has changed tremendously from when I, I started, which uh, I'm not going to date myself right now, which uh, uh, <laughs> it seems like ancient. But, uh, yeah, I, I think right now it's just about working and making sure that everybody's happy with, with, with those agreements, you know, whatever that might be, as, as long as it's fair. I mean, I like the fact that, you know, um, the, the pay is getting better. It's going to get better for the players. And I think that's important, um, you know, for these guys to make uh, make a living. I mean, when, when we first started, I mean, there were guys making... Fifteen to eighteen thousand dollars a year living in New York City—that's that, impossible to live in. And so right now, the league minimum has, you know, raised considerably. Uh, some of these guys who will be in Generation Adidas contracts is going to be outstanding. So I think it's it's moving towards being a true professional environment, and not just you know for the for two or three guys and the and, you know and a team that are making all the money, and then the rest are are struggling to. Uh, to live, you know what I mean? So I, I think it's moving in the right direction. I think it's important just the commitment that the owners and everyone's putting in, uh, and especially with the TV deals, that's gonna be outstanding. I think that's gonna make this league improve even more. So, you know, as the quality improves, I think all of that will come about. And, and I think it's a trickle-down effect. It's a trickle-down effect with how many USL teams are, are, are now around. And I think all of the academies, you know, that are being uh, funded by, by these clubs, it's important. So player development is definitely gonna, gonna improve. I mean, with TV, just like uh, our, the local league that we have uh, just south of us, with Mexico, the TV rights that they have, and, and it has improved uh, just the wealth of their teams, the talent that they're able to attract. So I, I think that all that's gonna be helpful for the game. You know, 70s, is it two 45 minute halves? 